We are in our backyard because today we are... Using an excavator. No. Today we are building a playground for our children. We are using an excavator to build a playground for our children. Yeah. Okay guys, we have this big property with a massive amount of empty, unused space in the corner. And as much as I like mowing lawns, <laughs> we are putting a playground there for the kiddos. This playground was generously donated by their Oma and Opa or my parents. <laughs> or my parents-in-law. <laughs> and the kids are very, very excited about it. But we have to do a little bit of work to prep the space and level the ground out and fun stuff for him. Work, hard work, excavating work. <laughs> Okay, let's start digging things. No planning needed. <laughs> Lots of planning needed. We got the pad all leveled using the excavator and I also did a little bit of surveying. So my background, I'm actually in engineering tech, but I did do a bunch of surveying with like a total station, construction level and GPS unit with my old job. So I used a laser level just to make sure that this pad was pretty darn close to level. I still have a little bit of slope backwards just so water will drain and won't sit, but then this will give us a nice base to work off for assembling our playground structure. So Russ has leveled the pad out some fun facts for you. He borrowed that excavator from a family member so he didn't have to pay anything for it. He got the, he got the geotech cell we're using for free from an old job site. And the surveying equipment, he got cheap at a garage sale from a woman who was pissed at her ex and sold it for next to nothing. Like pennies on the dollar. <laughs> Lesson be learned, don't piss off your wife if you like the tools. <laughs> That's my thrifty <laughs> husband. <laughs> so, what's next? Um, we're gonna throw the geotextile down and then we can start building the playground and then we can add the ties and mulch after. But I think the geotextile is next. Yay! Okay. Then you'll see all his good groundwork. <laughs> Technical <laughs> terms. I'm not the engineer tech here. <laughs> and we wonder why our house gets all dirty. The dog is very happy with the dirt pile we've made for her. So if we just go to each side and kick it, and we'll see where it ends. It might go a bit further, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it went go, over go, the hole. Go. It did, it kicked Oh, it right. did. Three, two, one. My show bell. You can put that little chunk you're cutting off. Okay, and that doesn't get any. <laughs> this does look pretty level here. Yeah, this looks good. Oh, there we go. Yay! It's like a whole book of things to do. <laughs> Well, it's supposed to take 48 hours or 16 something. 16 is what I read, I oh, think. Oh, 16. Let's Fun. get started. I love instructions. <laughs> this is the part of the build where Russell throws the instructions away and I chase him for the next <laughs> 12 hours with the instruction book.
So, moment of truth, do I know what I'm doing or not? Am I allowed to have an excavator again? This will decide it all. If, I, if this is bang on level, I get to use an excavator whenever I want. <laughs> With whose money? With the level perfect money. Mm, that's not Ready? And boom. <laughs> he came to check all his handiwork. None of these, this is just sitting on the pad. Nothing's... This is just his groundwork and it's very level. Proud of yourself? I am, so now we know I can have an excavator whenever I want. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> and this side is bang on. Nice. You nice want, work, Russell. You wouldn't want this to be unlevel when you're sitting because that would just be bad. All your cars would just roll off. Yeah, so that's perfect. <laughs> what are you looking at? The centering of the playground. Does this seem like a typical Lindy, let's make something difficult moment? <laughs> Seems like a Lindy likes to make everything look as good as possible type moment. What does, I gotta go, I got an important call. You gotta go get a couple extra people to move my playground over. How? Well, why? Because it's not centered. It's only out like 10 or 15 inches. You see, you can see it then. <laughs> well, I measured it. You measured it. <laughs> see, no, I can't live like this. But to be fair, you don't have to live with it. It's the kids' playground. Okay, but there's significantly more space on this side than on that side. But if you look at it just like this, then it's fine. If you don't look at the edges of the <laughs> playground. When it has ties at the side, it'll be very noticeable. But if we just move it like this much. How do you suggest we move it 10 inches once we have it all built? Well, we'll just get help. Hmm. I will call in the reinforcements hmm. of my brother and brother-in-law. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? One swing. Yeah. Yeah. And then we can move the ladder for you to get to the next one. One. So and then hold, hold on. on. That, yeah. That one over there. Yeah. This one? Yeah. And then we'll come down and then we'll move the ladder. <laughs> and do you think you can go on there? Wait. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can do this all day! Put that one on that side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole playground falls apart. That would be the worst. Yeah, you got it. And then this one. We got the biggest park in the world. In the world. Can Nathan sit on this one or is it too... No, this Yo, is... you can, you can. Nice. Okay, so now you can come down and then you can test it out. Oh, I can it. Ooh, nice! And then flip backwards. Yeah. Ah. Once you get it started and you can get the wrench, then I can twist it from this side. <laughs> Who's gonna come sit on this crazy swing? Wait till Dad says it's time. Kind of like a swing. It's a swing a ling ling. It's a, it's a bench. Is it done yet? It just Woo! This is a dad swing.
Okay. Another day. Another problem. Another issue. <laughs> Russell's mad at me. Not mad at you. I'm just frustrated. <laughs> So we sourced some mulch that we thought was playground mulch. Because we were trying to find darker stuff. And that's what we, well, even without, we asked yeah. for playground mulch. They told us they had playground mulch. We got a bit of it delivered here. It's not playground mulch. It's just mulch. <laughs> and I think it's going to be too fine and kind of slivery and not great. It's too for... fine for a playground. So we have sourced something else now. Same price, just different location. Different material different look so it'll still look great but we're both highly annoyed <laughs> that we already got some of this well and we checked it too and it, i mean i don't know we were maybe just hoping that it was the right stuff yeah because this was the place that was convenient to pick up too from but anyways we can still use the spot stuff we have we'll just do a thin layer first on everything and then we'll add the other stuff on top yeah that has to be our plan so that we can use everything that we have already paid for so, okay yeah. Let's go buy more mulch. <laughs> Says that with such a smile on his face. <laughs> love it, love it, favorite thing. <laughs> so this is an alder chip. And the first place we had asked, they're like, do you have playground mulch? They're like, yes, but it was actually garden mulch and they didn't know what they were talking about. And we didn't know either, so it was also our fault, my fault. Um, we talked to a second place and they said, this is the stuff they bring into playgrounds. So yeah, um, one thing to note is there's a lot of information online and some places actually recommend using cedar chips for playgrounds. The issue with cedar chips is that cedar is toxic and if you get a little sliver in your hand, that can actually get infected. So just look into what you wanna use, ultimately do what you wanna do, but cedar, there is some issues with using cedar for playgrounds. Some of the other options for playground base material are sand, pea gravel, and a rubber chip. So the issue with the rubber chip is that they're a little bit harder to land on and it is pricier just for the material in general. Pea gravel, it's a little bit pricier um, for hauling just because it's heavier, you don't get as much in a trip. Um, and then also it's way more work to get it to your location just because the gravel itself is heavier and more work to move. I think the pea gravel per unit is a little bit cheaper, but I think it's the work bringing it to the site that's a lot more work. And then sand, the big issue is that it turns into a giant litter box for all your neighborhood cats. So that's why we ultimately chose wood chips. We got um, around 60 ties to do the perimeter. I'm not 100% sure if that's enough, but that will at least get us started and going. Um, but the next step is now to get all of these over to the playground. So Lindy, one of the best things I can tell you for when checking a load is to go to the strap. Are you ready? It's really good. Okay, go like this, make sure it doesn't move and say, that's not going anywhere. And then give it a couple pats on the top. To level out the pad, we had to cut into the dirt and in some areas the grass is actually higher than our um, chips, wood chips. So how we're gonna make that look clean and also to keep the grass from getting into the wood chips is we're gonna add these landscaping ties. Looks like that. We'll use some rebar to kind of pin it and maybe some lag screws and that should make a really nice border around the whole playground and hopefully keep it nice and tidy.
Okay, the playground is done. A lot more work than I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, it took a lot longer than we originally thought, but it's done and it's done properly. And yes. it looks really good. And I don't even wanna know what the cost would be if I had to hire someone to do all this. <laughs> We're super happy. The kids are super happy with it. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but the pad is actually quite a bit bigger than the playground set we put in. That's because we have one other really special, super fun project for the kids that's gonna come out soon. We're gonna start working on it right away. But we can't tell you now. <laughs> Cause you'll find out very, very soon. Thanks so much for following our West Coast Reno and make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss our future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.